we can see around the dam the the animals go into the dam they pug around in it you can see your cattle will go and stand in the dam water is a really important resource and it's not only important for us it's for, important for people downstream as well i'm wally guthrie I'm a local fencing contractor. I live over in Mount George. Pretty important to fence your dam off and how that can be a fairly easy and cheap option if you do it the right way. Where's your dam fence got to be? So what features of a dam do you want to actually exclude animals from? Will's asked me to talk about the inflow area. So this is here because I'm, the inflow area is a creek. It's, it's part of a creek and it's a good idea to keep your stock out of the creek as well as your dam. So consider fencing off your, your inflow area and then your spillway as well. So any spillway that you've got, your spillway is quite often going to be a boggy place. It's a great place to keep hooves out of a, a boggy spillway as well. Make sure you leave enough room for reveg. Don't sort of fence it way too tight and have no room to sort of do your planting and all that sort of thing. And any wet areas below the dam wall, you, you probably want to keep any wet areas um, clear as well. And Think about practicality too. You, you probably need a gate or two to get vehicles in and out to look after your, your, your infrastructure and your plantings and all that sort of thing. And make sure you leave yourself enough width to be able to drive and turn around within your, your dam fence as well. Your fence, it, I find it very difficult to say, oh, I can build a fence for $30 a metre. $22 a metre, whatever. I can't do that because a fence is very different in different circumstances. You've got changes in direction, you've got gates, multiple end assemblies. The complexity really makes that per metre rate very, very different. So you just have to sort of consider that. Seven, eight, 15. That's what I've come up with. By fencing off the dam and putting those natural plants back around the dam, which is the reeds, the rushes, and also outside of the water area, planting some trees and understory there, is that you're filtering the water that's going into the dam. So anything that flows out of the dam and goes down the stream is going to be better quality than if the animals were playing around in it.